think the farmer of the future will wake up and will look to the phone and will use an app to decide uh, which one is the best cocktail of uh, chemicals or biologicals I mean, to apply in the field. I think digital uh, uh, technology I mean, so will make a revolution I mean, so on the basis of what Gerardo and Fred Soja just said. Um, but they will have a, a tool of different smaller chemicals to choose from. This is very important, so we will not have any longer so broad chemicals. So I think the pharma will need to be aware of when he or she uh, need to treat I mean, uh, the crop. What is the condition, of, for example, of the soil in terms of humidity and heat? And then uh, she or he will need to decide, I mean, so which one, I mean, is the best uh, mixture uh, to, to apply. Because at the end, I think it needs to be cost effective, not only sustainable. And I think this is where, compared to pharma, I mean, so we have an additional challenge in crop protection. Because pharma, I think, can still afford um, quite substantial cost for, for kilo of, uh, of active ingredients. That's not the case, I mean, so for, uh, for us. And if you see the, um, the slide that was just shown before, I mean, so the cost will continue to raise. I mean, so things will not become simpler. And I think in the future, I believe that biological will be regulated as chemicals. So, and that's how actually should be regulated in the future. I mean, I think the same rule should apply uh, and consistently uh, across all the different technology.